Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to show you how to make professional level Twitch emotes with a free software called Paint.net. And the reason I want to do this today is because we have a gaming community that's supporting each other and a lot of our members are becoming affiliated daily. But once they get to that level, they're not sure how they should be handling their account or what they could be doing to make it better. So I decided to make this video to show you how to do emotes and channel point icons and reward icons in free software using paint.net. So uh, the link for that is down below if you'd like to download it. I've also included the link down below for the Discord for our community. So if you'd like to be in a community of streamers that will support you and you can support them, then join that Discord and come say hi. But if you're just here for the Twitch emotes, we will do that right now. So here's paint.net like this. When you download it and just open up a blank canvas, this is what you start with. So the first example today that I'm going to show you guys is how to get a sample logo set up as a Twitch emote. So to do that, I've already downloaded one. So I'll open that up here. So we're going to use this one as a sample today. So let's say you wanted to use this logo as a Twitch emote, but you don't want all this extra background. Plus, they need to be a transparent image. So I will show you how to do that today. So the first thing for this that I want to do when I look at it is we want to get rid of this blue background around here and make the image transparent. So get rid of one solid color like that pretty easy. We can use this uh, magic wand tool over here. So what this does is allows you to delete one color. So see how when I click on the background, only the background is selected. Now you can adjust the tolerance up here at this bar. This allows you to say how strong you want it. So if it's stronger, it's going to select everything. We don't want it as tolerant because we don't want it to include any of the actual logo itself. So what I want to do just to make sure is we can zoom in in the bottom right. You see, you can zoom like this. Now watch as I adjust this tolerance bar. As I go this way, see there's that little bit of black outline that we get included. If I turn the tolerance up too much, we lose that little bit of the outline. So I think somewhere around right here should be good. So then uh, after this, since we just have the blue selected, you can zoom out again. And if we hit delete, then everything that we had selected is gone now. And we're left with just the image of this logo. We actually don't want this bar around the outside too. So what you can do to get rid of that, select this wand again, and just click that line. So now you've got this line selected, up the tolerance for it a bit. There we go. Now we have the line all the way around the outside. We can just delete that. And we're left with our logo here. Now, for Twitch emotes, they need to be a standard size. So this part's pretty easy. What we would do is take this logo, put it in the corner up here to the left, and then stretch it out. We're going to keep doing that until it fits this as a perfect square. Since it's a square, we need to adjust this image to be the proper size for Twitch emotes. So once you have everything like that, you can go up here, hit image, click resize. Now, if your image is already a square and the width and height, the width and height are the same, make sure you have this maintain aspect ratio checked. If they're not the same, uncheck that for now, just so that we can make these both the same, but because ours is the same, we don't need to do that step. And the first size we want is 112. Click OK. So here we go now. We've got our image right here. 
and 112 by 112 pixels is the first size that we want. And of course, you might have a better quality image. This one is kind of blurry. It's just a free sample. But you can notice down here at the bottom right, it is 112 by 112. So we would do this. Go save as wherever you want it. So put it in here as a tester. You want it as a PNG. So what we want to do is we'll write logo dash 112 so we know the size of this one. Save it. Okay. Then we can go image, resize. Next size Twitch wants is 56. Maintain aspect ratio is checked, so it'll put 56 on the height and width. Okay. File, save as. We'll go 56. Save. Okay. And now we need one more last one. So for this one, we just need to do 28. Okay. File, save as. And we'll do logo 28, just like that, and save. So now if you were to go over to your Twitch here and go down to affiliate on the left-hand side, choose emotes right here, and let's say I want to set up my tier 3 emote with the one we just made. So I go to image upload. We want advanced. So the 112 by 112, we can click it, choose our 112, 56, we want 56, 28, we want 8. And then now here's a preview of what my emote will look like in the chat, the light chat and the dark. So it's a transparent image, it doesn't have that blocky blue background around it anymore. Then here we would create our code. So for this one, it's a logo. So I would just do something like logo. And this is what the code would be for my emote. And then once you have that, you can hit save. And Twitch has to verify your images before you're allowed to use them. So once you save changes, it'll say pending over your emote. And then that's because it is currently under review. So that's how you would do a logo. Now, I'd like to also show you guys how to do it with text. So I just am on some text, free text generator online. So I'm just going to take one of these, dark one, write GG. Oh, and you can tell by these squares behind the GG that this one should already be a transparent image, so it'll be a lot less work for us. Create logo. Download. Let's come here. Open. Download this one. All right, perfect. So we're almost good to go here. We've got our image. Here. The only thing is, you notice our canvas size is 115 by 107. So it's not square, and we also need 112. So what I would do is uh, hold Control and press A to select everything, and then go back up here to your image, resize. And now because these ones aren't a square, they're not the same. Uncheck this maintain aspect ratio box. We'll set this at 112. Set this at 112. Okay, so now we've got our canvas size at 112. So we can select our image here, put it in that corner, stretch it out how we want. Fill the whole box. All right, so there I have GG. So now I can go file, save as, so let's see, we want, again we want PNG because that's what Twitch wants, so we'll do PG-12, save, okay, and now that we have it as a square, we can just reset again, 
maintain aspect ratio now that the width and the height are the same. 56, okay. Save as. GG 56. Okay. File or image, sorry. Resize. 28. Okay. File as. GG 28. So that it was that easy. It's transparent already with this one. Now, if we were to go back into our Twitch, let's say I don't save that. And one thing to note when you're uploading your emotes to Twitch, the size that you actually need, if you forget, you can see right here. So we need 112, 56, and 20. So if I was uploading my GG one, 12, 56, 8, and then I G as my code for this one, save my changes, and there. Now, see how it says pending approval? That just means that it's being reviewed by Twitch, and once they've confirmed that it's okay and not graphic or inappropriate, they will approve it, and then you now have access to your new emotes. Another one I would like to show you is because, uh, this one's a little trickier, but because a lot of people like to have their own face in there, I figured we could do one example with me using my own face. So, let's just do here, open a new one. Uh, let's just open this as a square to begin with. Oh, maintain. Now what I want to do is have a picture of myself here that I can use. So I'm just going to drag this picture, drop it right in paint.net, open this in. Okay, so here's a picture of me with a beard that I thought would be a good one to put as an emote. So first things first, what I'm going to do is take this magic wand again, click here. Okay, actually we'll start with the top. So it looks like it's getting, sorry, you have to see a zoom in of my face there. So not including everything we want up here, so we can adjust that tolerance a bit to make That's going to get rid of the hole. Seven gets rid of left here, but also takes off some of the hairs. So, there we don't. This will make it a lot easier. So, this covers the top right here around the side and left here so I delete that there's still a little bit left up here so what we can do with this is either take this square or rectangle here select that and delete it or another thing you can do with a good tool here is the lasso so with this one you can select a certain area if it's not a square even like that and delete it, and that will work as well. Sometimes you have to trace around your image and delete it. But for this, I'm just going to use the map. Ooh, that's too much. Face. Okay. Oh. Say 23 looks good. Doesn't take off too much of the face off the side here that we don't need that change actually what I can do for this one select my so come here drag it around here around 
select all that bit, delete it, this bit, back to our magic wand here, see if I can get rid of this. So what I am going to go to this lasso again, just do a quick underneath. Let's try just a straggler. Now let's see what we're left. Oh, well, I kind of want to clean it up down at the bottom so it's rounded a bit. So it looks better. So I'm just going to go here. that delete it now when i zoom out there's a nice big picture of my face with a beard so what i want to do is let's see okay we've got this image here so what i want to do is select everything let's go to image size um because the width and height are different again we don't want to maintain Aspect ratio, 12 by 12. Oh, I'm also zoomed out really far. But here you go, I'm at 100%. Now, this. Stretch it out a bit. Yo, so... We have it now, 112, face of the beard, so we'll save as. Switch it to a PNG. Beard 12. And it's handy to add the 112 in the file name, so when you're uploading it to Twitch, you know which file you're actually selecting. So save 112. Okay. Resize it. 56. Oh, maintain aspect ratio. We'll put them both at 56. Save as beard 56. Save it. Image resize beard 28. Save it as beard 28. Now, let's go back over to Twitch here. Let's say I don't want to use PG as my tier 3 emote. So let's say I want to use the beard one. 12 beard. 56 beard. 28. Now I want my code to be beard save change now if that gets approved i have an emote of myself with a beard so that's a quick and easy rundown of how you can use paint.net you notice all my images are up here that i worked with and paint.net is a free software feel free to download it play around with it maybe you can learn more in here yourself and make better quality images but for now, that's just a quick and easy way to get a logo or say you want text like GG or hype or again, a picture of your own face. There's a fairly simple way to do all three of those. And I'd also like to show you that on Twitch here, you go to your community and channel points here. It's the exact same thing. So manage rewards and challenges. Uh, if you want to have a custom reward, so what I did is 700 points I put as sit-ups. I just googled a free 
abs icon, saved it as my square image, made it transparent as a PNG. You just go add custom award, same size here, 112, 56, 28, and then that icon will be on your channel points reward. Not only that, you can use it for um, your actual channel points icon. So I use this guy's face as my 112, 56, 28. So now down here for my points, my channel points, it has his face there. And not only you can use that for these icons here, but if you have transparent PNG images like this, you can also put them over your stream. So for example, when I'm streaming, I have our Dirty Gaming logo in my bottom right corner, and then this guy's face right above it. It's just something extra. Again, if you have a logo, you can add it onto your overlay to show it on your screen and so on. But that is my tutorial on how to make Twitch emotes quick and easy and channel point emblems. Again, if you would like to download paint.net, I've put the link in the description for the free download. If you would like to join our community and you want to start streaming or you like to meet new friends i put the link for our discord down in the chat as well so come say hi even if you don't want to join still we'd support you you can support us we're building a community so we'll see you there thank you